Nice flight. How do you feel? Relieved. <laughs> yeah. We made it. Yeah. We didn't crash totally, and our eggs were totally fine on both rounds, so we did exactly what we wanted to. We competed successfully. So That's great. Uh, how did your performance compare with your predictions and your practice runs? Well, it was actually better than our practice runs just because our pilot did better than he had been doing previously. Um, for our predictions, we predicted that it could go about four minutes and it went, I think, like one and a half for the first round. So the thing is that the battery wasn't out either round, so potentially we could have gone longer had it stayed in the air. But. And those are also just numbers. Like, you don't, like, calculate team dynamics and, like, loading the eggs in and stuff like that. Those are just numbers. There's also many other factors that go into even when we're doing the piece and, oh, the battery's going to last this long because we have this much to lift. So a lot of other things tie into the factors. So it was an overestimate because we have to factor in other things that happen on this day. What do you think was the most effective aspect of your system? What, what worked? I think our egg carrier did its job. Yeah. It was very lightweight. Uh, Joy designed it. It was very lightweight, very simple, and it worked perfectly. Like People were like, oh, it's not going to work. You know, the, you barely have a skin on it, and it worked perfectly. Is there anything that you think you might have done differently? Um, we actually realized afterwards that our eggs were loaded a little bit too far forward. So um, that was because previously when we practiced, they'd been a little bit, um, <laughs> it'd been a little bit back heavy. So we were trying to move the center of gravity forward. Um, we actually I think did that a little bit too much. I think our pilot kind of complained about it being a bit front heavy in the end. But um, other than that, we would have trained more, had the pilot trained more. I think that was our biggest issue. It's definitely the biggest factor to have lots of people training to be the pilot because that's who's going to perform on the plane. And it was difficult because we had a four-person group at the last minute. And so um, so we all pretty much had to help build it because it took up so much time. And so our pilot didn't get as much of a chance to go and fly. Whereas like I think a lot of the other teams, the pilot just flew and then the, other, the rest of the people built the plane. So, so you had uh, to deal with time and... Reduced manpower, yes, or person exactly. power, rather. Yeah. Um, so you've had a lot of new experiences in Unified this year, I'll bet. Um, you built, designed, and flew a, uh, an aircraft. You built a team, um, and you kept up a rigorous academic pace for quite a long period. Yeah. Uh, which experiences do you think were the most valuable? What, what do you think you'll be using the most in the courses and years to come? Um, going to MIT, it's a, like I said, it's really rigorous curriculum. And I think the most valuable thing I got out of Unified was be able to, being able to communicate with my professors. Like, these are big name professors, like Professor Drela, he's known as the best aerodynamicist in the world. And being able to go to his office at 1 o'clock in the morning, be like, help me with this problem set, and him being there and willing to come to the lab and help, you know, it's, it means a lot. And that's what's going to help us get through this school is the fact that we're so tight and they make it so hard that we have to work with each other. And that's how we're going to learn our best, because we learn our best from each other. And it's just a most valuable experience getting to know our professors, these really amazing people. And that's what gets us through this school. Yeah. And like with Unified especially, the students, like, we, I don't know, we're pretty much forced to work together just because you have so much to do. And so you work on it, and then you get stuck, and kind of people figure it out together. And so I think working as a team is like a really huge part of this class. And something we'll really bring out of this, and just kind of knowing what, even like with our four person group, like knowing whose personality is what, so you just kind of know how to approach people or how to like work out conflicts and things. And it applies a lot to real world because we're going to go and work for companies and we're going to work in teams. So if we're learning from the very beginning to work with people and you know, learn about team dynamics and it's going to help in the end. So everything's planned out right. Well, I'm sure you'll make great use of those skills. What, what are you going to do next? Do next, next. Today, next, next week. Next. Make it through well, the school. We have a piece I do at 3 o'clock, so yeah. <laughs> we have to get to that. Right. So you have to party afterwards. Yes, we will. We're getting our rooms tonight, actually. So. Well, thanks a lot for talking to us. Thank you.